All right, so let's take a look at the phone and we'll take it out of this plastic. All right, so just reviewing the hardware re quickly, uh, the HTC One has a dual speakers, which is um, pretty unique. I think it's the only phone on the market that has two speakers. Uh, so um, we haven't started it yet, but I'm sure it will have great sound. Plus, it has Beats Audio. It also has, this is your proximity sensor, so this is what detects um, as it gets closer to your cheek and whatnot, so there's your proximity sensor. You have a uh, 2 megapixel front-facing camera. Uh, you have your navigation controls here, uh, which are uh, the home button and standard back button that you have when you're using Android. Uh, some some programs have a menu, or some phones have a, uh, a menu button. We don't have this. You have the HTC logo, so we'll see how they've implemented it when they use their uh, their HTC Sense. On the side here, you have this is the port for or the the tray for your SIM card, and that's why it came with a SIM card remover that you just placed there. Uh, on this side, you have your your volume rocker. On the bottom, you have your charging port. On the back, you have a four megapixel camera. Uh, with the flash, and again, when you hear 4 megapixel, there's uh, a, a lot of buzz in the industry where it's not about the megapixels, but um, how you process uh, the image uh, with the megapixels that are available. So we'll see how does this compare to other cameras that have a higher resolution from a megapixel perspective uh, when it comes to image quality. You have on the top, you have your headphone jack, and you have your on-off button. Now this on-off button is a dual-purpose button. Not only is it what turns on and off your phone, but it's also your infrared port to control your TV. So if you're using this phone as a remote control, you'd be pointing this towards your television, your VCR, your cable box, and then, you know, using the remote. So it's a dual purpose uh, button. So let's go ahead and see uh, how the phone starts up and we'll go through the standard Android setup. So let's go ahead and start up the phone. I'm going to press and hold the start button. There it is. Um, it did kind of give you a little vibration when it powered up. You see the HTC logo. Now, while this starts up, this is a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. Oh, that was pretty loud. Uh, quad-core processor, 1.7 gigahertz. So it's it's going to be at the same level as when you think about the Galaxy S4 that's coming out. Uh, micro SIM, as I mentioned before, this happens to be a 32 gig model uh, and it has two gigabytes of, of RAM in other words for processing. Um, it has a 4.7 inch screen uh, 1080p capable and as we mentioned also earlier it is um, using Android with HTC Sense. So you saw that was pretty fast so we really didn't see uh, the standard setup coming up. Um, you'll notice that it says no service because I don't have a SIM inserted uh, so we'll go ahead and set that up uh, but it really didn't go through the standard Android setup in my mind. So uh, let's go ahead and, and, and choose our language. So English United States. So we'll hit start. Um, it's looking for network. So let me go ahead and set that so up. I've already connected it to the home network. And you have a choice here to set up from scratch or to restore or transfer um, context. I'm going to go ahead and choose set up from scratch. Uh, here it's talking about um, personalization. Um, that you can make, again, moving files uh, and things of that, that nature. I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to go ahead and get us closer to the software. Uh, auto sync capabilities, again, this is where we would go ahead and set up our accounts. So if we want to set up our Exchange accounts, Google accounts, etc. In this area, you can actually choose to uh, actually set up your HTC account. It's a real common. Samsung does the same thing where they have their own accounts that you can set up. Sometimes it's for cloud services and different services that HTC provides. This is where you would set up your Google account, um, any kind of exchanger or corporate mail that you may have, Dropbox. Um, a lot of features that they're asking you to set up up front. As you can see, there are several services that are available. And this is something optional. You don't have to do it right now. You can always go back and set it up. So you don't really have to choose it from scratch. But what I'll do is just uh, to get my Google account, I'll go ahead and choose the Google account. And when you choose it, you'll notice that this is now the standard kind of Android setup. So I'm going to go ahead and input my Google account and continue with the setup process. So put in my Google information. It's now doing standard Google stuff. So it's going to do setting up my account or, or registering this phone with my existing Google account. Um, it'll determine if there's any type of restoration that needs to take place. It's going to sync my contacts. It's, it'll do the email. So pretty standard um, Google implementation. 
We noticed that uh, a couple seconds ago as we were going through the steps, it was very proprietary to HTC. So what we're going to do now is just, um, I'm just going to hit next. I'm not going to set anything else up. Uh, one of the things that HTC is, is, uh, is doing, they're promoting with Dropbox two years of, of if you sign up for a Dropbox, 25 gigabyte storage uh, for two years. I think Dropbox, the initial size is maybe five gigabytes. Um, so this is again guaranteed for two years, uh, 25 gigabytes of storage. I'll go ahead and skip this. This you can do later. Um, I already have a Dropbox account. And then here we're just looking again at uh, some additional information from HTC. We'll hit OK. Um, additional setup, you know, about collection information. This is for location information. And I will say OK for that. I'm OK with that information being available. And here we would establish our date and time. So I'll go ahead and leave all the information that looks good. I'll just change my time zone and then we should be pretty much set. So set my time zone, I'll hit next. All right, so this is again for backing up the phone. I'll hit next. Let's go ahead and give this phone a name. So pretty boring, HTC One, choose finish. Okay. So phone's been set up. Um, I'll go ahead and insert a SIM. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to do that. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you how that's done in, just in case you do get a unlocked version like this one. And then what we'll do is we'll look at some of the options um, as far as the screen and the navigation. This does have the Sense UI and it's kind of almost like Windows-like where you have the windows at the very front. You'll notice that we have these two big blank areas. Uh, so that is something that you can configure and we'll look at what are some of the configuration options shortly.